Hello, my name is Andre Rosic. I'm the production director at Mr. Polby. Our company deals with the packaging of honey. I am responsible for all technological processes in our plant. I would like to say a few words about how we carry out quality control and how we make sure that the end consumer receives only the best product. And I can reveal a few technological secrets, but all in order. So where does it all start? Firstly, we buy honey from reliable suppliers. These are companies both from the European Union and from outside its borders. If honey is imported to us from abroad, first, the exporter checks its quality in his laboratories before sending it. Then, when crossing the border, the honey is checked by state services such as Wijhars and the Veterinary Service. In the case of purchases in the Union from countries such as Lithuania, Romania, Bulgaria, each purchase contract is signed with a deferred payment date. A minimum of 14 days or even a month, and within this time, we can check each batch received. Immediately after delivery, we collect samples, check the psychicochemical parameters, organoleptic and pollen composition in the quality control department. At the same time, we send the same samples to accredited and world-renowned laboratories, QSI, Intertech, Eurofins, we check very carefully if everything complies with EU standards and directives. The following parameters are tested. All possible spectra of antibiotics, pesticides, GMOs, radionuclides, and of course, the level of carcinogens is tested. One of the key tests is the hydroxymethylferferol test, or HMF for short. This chemical is still created in honey by a combination of two factors an elevated temperature of over 45 degrees Celsius, and the fluid of time. In Poland, the normal level of HMF is up to 40 units. We accept the level of 10 to 12 units, which is four times lower than generally accepted standards. Now it's time to reveal a few technological secrets, as I promised. First of all, we have several heating chambers for honey, the so-called decrystallizers. They are modern and designed in such a way that the heat loss is minimal, thanks to which the temperature rises very quickly. In 10 to 15 minutes, it rises up to the level of 44 to 45 degrees. This process is controlled and maintained by automation at a given level. As a rule, honey is heated for no longer than 24 hours and only until it can be poured from barrels. In this way, we minimize the influence of one of the factors, namely the temperature level. We also have an influence on the second factor, which is time. Because we have equipment, the so-called scraped surface heat exchangers, their main feature is that the honey does not touch the heating element directly, but only through water, which eliminates the burning process. Also, in the decrystallization process, the honey is physically crushed as it passes through the pipes with scrapers so that the crystals disappear and the honey becomes completely liquid at a relatively low temperature. Thanks to this, we can immediately pour it into jars, buckets, or barrels, depending on the customer's needs. As a result, we have a product of the highest possible quality.